Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be diving into the colourful world of Home Assistant themes. We'll take you through what a theme is, how to enable themes in Home Assistant, how we can switch between dark and light modes, or leave Home Assistant to do it for us with automatic. Then show you how you can load any of the themes that are in the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks as it's known, or even add themes that are available in the GitHub repositories, but not available in Hacks. Then we'll show you how you can make a theme consistent across all devices and not just the browser that you set the theme up on. I'll show you my top five themes that you might like to check out or just pick one yourself and apply. So let's dive on in and tweak your Home Assistant to look exactly as you'd like it. Home Assistant comes with a default theme that can be toggled between light and dark or simply left at automatic to switch according to your device's system settings. Themes can be accessed by navigating to your profile in the bottom left hand corner and selecting the profile name. Scroll down to the browser settings. Here you can select the theme you wish to use in this browser. If using the default theme, you can select light, dark or auto to align to the browser settings. You can also set the primary and accent colors if you wish. Remember this location as we'll be coming back to here later. For the majority of us, we'll be installing a theme that we have selected from the many themes that are available from the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks as it's known. If you don't have Hacks installed, then go watch the video in the pop-up above, and once installed, come back to this video. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. If you are a frequent visitor to Hacks, you will notice that the front-end interface UI has changed with version 2. This is now much more intuitive and simpler to find what you are looking for. Select filters in the top left hand corner. Set the type to theme. This will bring up all themes that are available for download. I like to view these by star rating to show the themes that are popular. Press the sort by in the top right hand corner. Select a star. Press twice so it sorts by decreasing star rating. You can also see that you can sort by repository name, downloads, activity, download version, available version, status and type. This will give you access to about 70 plus themes that can be installed directly from Hacks. We'll install one to show you the process, then I'll list through my top 5 themes. Also remember that by doing this through Hacks, it will create the necessary folders and configuration to enable you to install themes from elsewhere, such as GitHub. So this is the preferred method, at least for the first theme. I'll be installing a theme called Dark Teal, which includes dark and light modes. Search for and select Dark Teal. Press the Downloads button in the bottom right hand corner and confirm with Download. Now refresh your screen and the Download button should disappear signifying that the load has completed successfully. Now let's load this theme. Remember this is specific to this browser. Navigate to your profile in the bottom left hand corner. Scroll down to the browser section. Open the drop down for the theme and select Dark Teal. The change should be instant you can see that on this theme, it doesn't have a light or dark mode. This is down to the developer to implement, and not all themes such as this one have this option. This will be the default theme for Home Assistant moving forward on this browser. Now we know how to change the theme for the browser that we are viewing Home Assistant on, how do we change it for all devices that access Home Assistant? To do this, we'll need to run a specific command. Navigate to the Developer Tools in the left hand menu. Select the Actions from the top menu. In the Action field, type Set Default Theme and select Home Assistant Front End Set the Default Theme. Use the drop down for the Theme field and select your theme. If your selected theme does not support Light or Dark Mode, then unselect Mode and press Perform Action. However, if you've selected a theme that does support Light and Dark Mode, select Mode select which mode your theme supports and press perform. Now repeat the same exercise by selecting the other mode and press perform again. This is now the default theme across all browsers on all devices that connect to this instance of Home Assistant. Now although the majority of popular themes have been migrated to hacks, there are still some specialized ones that are not. An example of this would be the Yunfi theme, which is based on the Ubiquiti Unify interface. If you wish to install this or any other theme that is not available in Hacks, then open Studio Code Server. 
If you don't have Studio Code Server loaded, then watch the video in the pop-up above. In the folder tree on the left-hand side, open the Themes folder. Right-click on the Themes folder and select New Folder. Give the folder a name, such as Yonify. Now right-click on the folder and select New File. Type in the name yonify.yaml and press Enter. In a new browser tab, open the link to the yonify.yaml file in the description. Press the copy button next to the word raw. Move back to Studio Code Server and paste in the contents into the yonify.yaml file. Now navigate to the developer's tool in the left hand menu. Select YAML. Press restart. Select restart home assistant and confirm with restart. When home assistant comes back, navigate to your profile in the bottom left hand corner. Scroll down to browser settings. Select the drop down for theme and select Yonify. The new theme will take effect immediately. Remember, this is only for the browser that you are currently on. Number five on my list is the dark teal theme. It's a simple dark mode theme. It's clear and easy on the eyes. It's based on another theme called the clear dark. So you might like to check out that theme also. My number four theme is the Cowley blue theme. This is actually a pack of themes with 40 sub themes included for you to select from. Its origins are from the Brazilian Home Assistant community and contains four styles and 10 vibrant colors with both light and dark mode supported, but without auto switching. My number three theme is the Noctis theme. It's a high contrast theme that allows for easy reading, although it doesn't offer dark and light modes. My number two theme is the Mac OS theme. It's based on the Mac Monterey OS. This is a subtle theme that provides both light and dark modes and will be the ideal companion theme for your Apple devices. And my number one theme is my daily driver, is the iOS blue theme. Clear, great contrast and very modern. So that's how to set up themes in Home Assistant, either through Hacks or GitHub, and how to set these across all devices that connect your Home Assistant instance plus my top five themes that I like, with the iOS Blue as my daily driver in my production environment. This really is a personal choice, so tell us in the comments what your favorite theme is and why. I'm sure everybody would love to know. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you'd like access to similar material, then subscribe and maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped bring color and style to your Home Assistant dashboard, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.